to the college today. It's kind of late, but I enjoyed it. I haven't been to school much, or I haven't been to school in like a year. Or, I don't know how long it's been, but I was up all night, and I already said that before. And yesterday he saw me doing the videos and stuff, so I was kind of tired. But I was still, well, actually I was pretty good. The first part I had some coffee and stuff. So I, I didn't feel that bad. But then as the, it got towards the end of the day, we, we were sitting at lunch and they were talking for a while. Or, you know, the people in charge or whatever they were, the counselors or something. Anyway, I kind of fell asleep until my sister got out of the meeting place where she was talking about the finances and stuff. But then I, we went, we went to pick up my sister at the airport on the way at, on the way back over to my grandparents, I started feeling really sick. I don't know, I hadn't eaten much. Like, they have food at the college, but I just wasn't that hungry at the time. And I fell asleep at my grandparents. And I fell asleep tonight when we got back home. We were watching some movie. But anyway, that's all he says is... Like six o'clock, you know, like one. Oh. I just woke up a little while ago and brushed my teeth. I just kept, was thinking about um, the president. I don't know why. Uh, I didn't just watch, you know, what's that movie called? You know, about the Harold and Kumar, the second one. You know, where they have, um, Bush. Anyways, what I was thinking is, like, people, when they get elected, like, everyone's somehow everyone in the beginning is like supportive and then if the president doesn't you know follow through on everything they say then they turn or, or you know they stop they like I don't know but like I see the same thing that happened with Bush happening with Obama just because people, the way they think about what the president is supposed to do for them is, like, impossible. And anyone that is smart, I'm just, it's like, they try, you know. I mean, I don't know about Bush. I hated Bush. I mean, I like Bush, but I hated Bush the president. But then sometimes, uh, you know, you feel bad for him because he seems, like, more stupid than, uh, like, a bad person. And, you know, maybe it wasn't in that crash 9-11 or, or, you know, some people think he's responsible for 9-11. Also, there's so many things that just kind of seem... Strange, like it's nine one one. There's a ton of things that people, why people, and then some people say he was responsible for Katrina, which 
you could have been responsible for those things, or maybe it, it was Dick Cheney. I don't know. Maybe he was just kind of like had because he was the president, he was like responsible for you know things that maybe other people were. I don't know. But anyway, I just see this people turning on Obama because he can't feel everything, you know. But it's like, they don't have the power to do everything, like this healthcare thing sounded like the best thing to me. Maybe I don't understand the whole thing, but I was pretty, that seemed pretty great, you know, having healthcare. I could use that, you know, if I had health care, I could get my teeth, my wisdom teeth out and stuff. And I've had a lot of problems in the past that health care would have been really handy, but now not only are my parents in a lot of debt, but I've, you know, waiting on things that you need to get taken care of can sometimes make them worse make it a bigger problem because you don't have the money to take care of it then and then you end up having to pay a lot more because it becomes like serious and you know you know it's weird I wonder why people voted for Bush again now if they hated him so much like I love Bush, but not Bush. And <laughs> I think I'm just a little bit too sad. Oh, also, um, I was reading a comment, and I usually read my com well, I always read my comments at, when I get a chance. But this one was usually they're just about you know get your hair cut or someone saying something about my videos, but this one I really, someone was talking about how I, I know this video is way back, it was one of my first videos, but they were talking about how my video on addiction, like carrying addiction, I was glad someone, you know, used it, because it, I really wanted to share that with people, because I was able to cure my own addiction. And it was to like some pretty heavy stuff, which I've talked about over my show. It's about, it's not about eliminating, it's about moderating. Or you know what I mean? Being in control of whatever you're doing or taking instead of letting it control you. And it's not just drugs, it's food or anything. Anything that you're not in control of can be dangerous. There's, um, I'm trying to think of all the. But even um, meditation can be dangerous as you. There's dangers of it, like you have to. Do it in a way because it's like getting letting go of the root of your problem. It's like kind of self counseling, or you know, not so it's like, but it can sometimes result in you getting angry or losing, you know. But it's you just have to do it the right way. Everything, even emotions, you know, I've said this before. Emotions can be very dangerous if you're not in control of them. Anything can be. I probably need to get some sleep. I just felt like talking about it. But I was going to say something else. I always. It's not a good idea 